Okay, so what we've decided to do is apply this back section uh, of the graphic because of the size and being out of reflective film. We're gonna put it on and show you what a wet application is like. So we have our mix, our spray bottle of water and baby shampoo. And what you normally do would be to go ahead and soak the adhesive side uh, of the decal. And this is gonna allow us to um, be able to position the decal accurately without the adhesive really tacking up and limiting us to move it around. So you can wet the surface of the decal as well as the surface of the machine if you decide to. We just did the back of the decal for this. And so that'll give us the ability to be able to move the graphic around and get it in position exactly where we want it. Now our standard uh, graphics and wraps are, is produced on a film that does not need to be applied wet um, because of the uh, air release adhesive uh, qualities in the film. Uh, but because we have something like this that requires a little bit more uh, movement and finessing, we have the ability to lay it down and pick it back up as many times as we want, even re-wet uh, it so that you have more slip time. So we've got the graphic positioned uh, basically where we want it to fall and there's still water underneath it so a lot of times what we'll do is just do an overspray over top of it that just allows the squeegee to slip and uh, of course when whenever you're putting graphics on you want to make sure you start in the center of the graphic always working to the outside and the reason that we want to do that is because if we need to pick it up we can always pick up and pull back to where it's already been secured and that way we're also squeegeeing the water, in this case, or the air, um, to the outsides of the graphic so it can be released to allow the adhesive to take its permanent bond. With water, you do have to be more patient uh, just because it's going to want to have a tendency to lift, but it will uh, breathe out and lay down over time, and we're going to go over it with heat to uh, help it along as well. So even if you get the film that wants to pop up, you can always leave it and then come back to it. So it does require a little bit of patience. Okay, now I'm going to show you a very simple method in applying graphics. We call it the hinge method. So what you have is your design and we have just a regular piece of masking tape. So <clears throat> what we've done in advance is uh, cut the image out we're leaving just a little bit of excess paper around the design and this will help us with positioning so that we're able to um, fit it exactly where we want it to fall on the machine. And then once we have it in place and we know that that's where we want to apply it, we're going to take our tape and use that, put it directly across the surface of the graphic. So now it's a hinge and what we mean by a hinge is we have a, the center of the tape we have one side of the graphic, which would be the top side, and the bottom side of the graphic. So this, is, this allows us to be able to install the design from the center to the outside in both directions. So very simply, what we want to do, and actually I'm going to have you do it, is we're going to peel back our design. And you'll hold that with one hand. And then we're going to cut off the excess backing paper which now allows the adhesive to be uh, exposed and be installed. Then, you're gonna wanna switch sides? We're gonna take your squeegee and holding the design, what handed are you? Uh, right hand. Okay, so you're gonna hold the design with your left hand and you're gonna take your squeegee starting up on the tape and you're gonna firmly press and let the squeegee walk the design down. So push, 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 push. Change the angle on your squeegee back a little bit. Push it back towards the bike. There you go. And slowly work the film into position. And if you want to do a hair longer strokes, you can. But overlapping strokes are a very, very uh, good technique because that ensures we won't have any air bubbles and all the way down to the bottom.